The energy of a single molecule through which a sound wave travels is equal to one half of the mass of the molecule times its velocity squared. For simple harmonic oscillators, the velocity can be substituted for the amplitude times the angular frequency represented by a and omega. Therefore, the energy per molecule is equal to one half of the mass of the molecule times the amplitude squared times omega squared. The energy per unit volume is equal to the energy of a single molecule times the number of molecules per unit volume. We substitute in the energy per molecule from above. The mass of an individual molecule times the number of molecules per unit of volume equals out to the density. So, the energy per unit volume is equal to one half of the amplitude squared times omega squared times the density. Imagine a cube in which air molecules are being disturbed by a sound wave. The area in red is the area the sound wave covers. D is the distance traveled by the wave and is equal to wave velocity times time. The volume is equal to the area times the wave velocity times time. The total energy in the cube is equal to the energy per unit volume times the volume. So, it is equal to the energy per unit volume times the area times the wave velocity times time. The intensity of a sound is equal to the total energy divided by the area times time. When we expand and simplify, we are left with that the intensity is equal to the energy per unit volume times the wave velocity. We then substitute that omega is equal to 2 pi f for simple harmonic oscillators and find that the intensity is relative to the amplitude squared times the frequency squared.